How do you get more views on the videos that you post on YouTube and Facebook? You're about to find out from Matt Posius, who makes $2 million, $2 million a year at the moment. What are you doing? Yeah, but this year it should be at least $2 million. Uh, this is yeah, and he's 20 years old, by the way. Yeah. So how do you do it, Matt? Well, uh, there are many ways you can do that. If you got a team of people working for you, make sure that you get Facebook accounts and Make sure to figure out what your audience is. For example, you can go to different Facebook groups. There are many active groups. Make sure that we are very active on Facebook. And then you can get your assistant just to add these people to your Facebook account every single day. Then you reach 5,000 friends, you post a video, it will get 1,000 views every single time you post it. And that's just free traffic. And if you got you know, 10 employees working for you, you get each of them to get a Facebook account, like a business account for you. And then you post whatever, uh, you post in these, in these accounts whatever you post on your profile. And, and then it, it, you get a lot more views than you would get otherwise if you just post it to your account. So I have a verified account, a Facebook verified account with yep. a little tick. Mm -hmm. uh, what should I be doing? And people who are watching this right now are yep. likely watching this on my Facebook verified account page. So how do yep. I get more people to watch this video or what should I ask the, this person right there who's watching us right now? Hello. Yep. What should I get them to do now? What's the call to action that I have them do in order to get more views? Well, is it to share? It's like, do I say, hey, you, yes, you, you should share this video now? Like, how do I do it? Yeah, well, that usually helps, but I mean, the, there are things that you can do. I have found just posting more that just helps more than, than just trying to ask people, hey, you know, sh share this video. It's like 10% increase, maybe 20%, maybe 30%. Uh, I would just rather focus on, on more content instead of just trying to maximize every little, little thing. Uh, I, I try to always major in majors and then, then minor in minors. I feel that most people what they do is be major in minors. Right. Yeah, so and, and how much content when you say just keep putting content out is good? One a day, two, or two a week? Like what's the consistency? It depends on the platform. Uh, some platforms you can do five a day uh, and we have them post on Facebook at, uh, five times a day that worked well uh, I think one a day for the most part is, is the minimum on so Facebook. one a day is minimum right? yeah I would say so and then what about on YouTube uh, YouTube you can post as many as you want so there's nothing to stop but some people say that if you're gonna post on YouTube you should do it consistently like the same time every day like not every day but it might be like you only release videos on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays always at 9 a.m. Pacific and always stick to that structure there are other people like no just upload whenever you got something to upload so what's the right answer I don't know the right answer to that exactly but uh, I, I think what helps is it's not necessarily the uh, the, the time that you post at, like 10 p.m. or 10 a.m., I think it's just the consistency more. So if you can stay consistent, I think people will get used to to, to you uploading the content every single day and then, and then they'll get into habit checking your channel every single day. There are a few channels that I check every single day and I got used to, to them uploading the content every single day and then sometimes I go there and, and I don't find new content. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. So I'm always looking for new content from these guys. So there you go, how to get more views and more followers on your Facebook and YouTube videos. If you're watching on Facebook, you don't have to share it because Matt said it's not that important, but if you'd like to, share this right now. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. I think it's down there, or maybe it's down there. I'm not sure. Subscribe to this channel. Did I do the right thing? Did I tell them to subscribe? Is that the right thing to do? Uh, I think asking people to buy is more important though. Really? Okay, in that case, buy my stuff. I'm wearing Swanee's blue light blocking glasses. There's a link in the about description down below or go to swanniesglasses.com. Buy, buy, buy. Is that the right thing to do? Maybe not. It doesn't that, feel right. No. Don't buy my Swanee's blue light blocking glasses, which when you wear them an hour before you go to sleep, it makes you sleepier and sleep better and you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Don't buy them. Do not buy these glasses. How's that? To do that right? That was better, yeah. Okay, do not subscribe, do not share this, and do not buy my glasses. See ya. See ya. Get happier in seven seconds by going for a gratitude walk. Just like I am right now. I'm taking Buster for a little walk here in Abingdon in Oxford.